Oh, the world is in a strange place. Everything seems to be in flux. Everything seems to be going crazy. What is happening? And yes, there's some genuine fear here, of course. But it's going bonkers. Now, there's many different ways. There's many, many different ways that we can look at this, about this um, multipolar traps. We can start looking at that and start looking at the meta crisis and start looking at all of these things. But what I want to bring to you today is values because I believe that the image that we have for the future kind of determines where we're going. I've said this about like us personally where you know your relationship with your future self is what in the book The Divine Double is called the soul and that you've to surrender into the relationship because you can't just give yourself up into a future self that would be um, unnatural um, and the, the death, the ego death, the letting go of old things would f would be so much more difficult if it was just, okay, I'm no longer uh, a musician and now I'm a chess player. But if you surrender into a soul, um, perhaps that's part of your journey. So I believe that this ideal or the ideological kind of current that we are all following it will very much determine where we're going, what we're doing, and has determined where we are. So, in the, like, ages back, two, three hundred years ago, it was a very bloody world. Everyone was vying, there was, this is like medieval times, you're going out of, like, crusades, you're going out of religious wars, you're going out of, like, you know, you must agree with our story, you, like, religion is everything, and you have to believe it, and, like, you know, you are infidels, you are non-believers, you are witches, oh, my, like, this, that whole period of history, oh, dear lord, and some sane person came along and goes, we cannot keep doing this. That is a ridiculous way to operate in the world. So what we're going to do is instead of religion being the top force, instead of spirit, this thing above your head, being the, the main factor, the main force, and then having your intelligence and your emotions and then your hands, we're going to flip it. In this, I'm using your hands as the marketplace. This is where you labor. This is what you make, what you create, what you offer to the world, what you consume, perhaps. So the market. So this thing got flipped upside down. So now the market was on top and everyone was free to get along with each other as long as we could all trade with each other. So it was beneficial for us to get along with each other. Ah, Okay, I'm not trying to say the last like two, three hundred years were like totally peaceful, but Europe used to be like the bloodiest cont continent, um, and it's some bit peaceable now. <laughs> um, so, what did that do? It helped us all get along. Yes, brilliant. We we're so much more accepting, and these values came up of. Um, encouraging diversity and the value of diversity and equality and all of this stuff. America came out of this, but all that said, for the children who were still growing up, for the kids who were born and raised in this new paradigm shift, what happened? They understood the world through this paradigm shift. They looked at the world and was like, oh, so market is the most important. And your emotions, you know, you want to offer a bit of gusto. You want to offer, like, you know, that. So, like, you know, get your emotions in check. Make sure it serves the market. And your intelligence is for the market. Is is there to make sure that you're a, a force to be, to be known, to be recognized. And then spirituality, like, you know, if you're really stretching it, you know, as long as it serves, does it get you into good balance? Does it, is it tangible? Does it affect your productivity? Does it make you a more efficient, effective person? If so, great. If not, it's last on the list. And that was the understanding. But you see, the thing is, is that we can create everything 
and it still doesn't connect us to something bigger. It doesn't give us that divine spark. It doesn't give us that true connection to something bigger. It doesn't give us everything that spirituality and religion used to. And yes, they did fear towards uh, power and corruption and all the rest. Like, I get it. I get it. I know. I know. Bloody hell. Dear Lord. I know. Um, But spirituality was the way that you made your meaning in the world. It was the way you recognized your place in the world as part of nature, not separate from nature, not here to use nature for your ends, for your means, not here to extract and um, and put on all these facades, as in like extract so that you have the nice things that mean that you are a more respectable person and like, you know, have the piece of paper that means you are this type or whatever these like identifiers are so you no longer have to show it and prove it and own it now you just have you can hide behind this basically and i've seen many people with who were not well placed in their slip of paper (laughs) all to say years ago bloody war you must believe my story or else you are a sinner you are like you're irredeemable then the markets got put on top ah we can all get along as long as it's useful to us we're currently in a space where that is crumbling where we are recognizing that trying to find meaning through your job or through your labor it works for some people um but doesn't necessarily give good balance to life um doesn't necessarily make your family healthy we're all seeing very small families if and we're also seeing a lot of no families um doesn't necessarily make your friend um network any healthier we are seeing um a recession of friendship i've heard that being called which oh cringe but okay sure we'll use the word um and it doesn't necessarily make you give you like that good full hobby space because now the hobbies are co-opted into like you know they have to be profitable they have to be something it has to be um a story that you can now use in your networking events to make you seem like a cool person so that everyone likes you and now buys your product um so everything's being co-opted into the workspace and it's leaving us very unhealthy So I believe, this is my projection, is that that paradigm is going to shift again. And the spiritual, the religious, the the connection with a higher being or the connection with higher patterns of being. um, I much prefer the latter of that kind of definition of spirituality. But I don't mean to ostracize either side here. Um, I think that's going to become more important. I think this is why the workshops that I do focus on virtues because they are these higher order principles. These are these higher order ways of being that you have to keep relating to. Each action has to be negotiated with these things. To be authentic in this moment will be different to how I express my authenticity in different moments. To be to have integrity in this moment will be different to other moments. The actions have to negotiate with these higher order principles. That's why I'm doing the workshops on that, because I do believe that this shift is coming back up and we're going to start focusing on higher order patterns of being. And I mean this, so I'm, the workshops I'm doing are on like a personal development or a semi-spiritual sort of basis. But I even mean the like society, how we organize ourselves in a society. I mean, politically, it is going to be about these higher order patterns of being. Now, that we won't end this on a bad note but that can go full on george orwell and everyone's being monitored and everything else or it can go into um some sort of utopia where it's all love and light i don't know neither of those please okay um (laughs) so we are trying to thread a needle here but i do believe that these higher order patterns of um, being of organizing of everything else 
will start to become more important and that we will hunger for that. When everything is st- is difficult to make sense of, we will kind of abstract up. We will try to figure it out from a higher position, get the bird's eye view. We will try to zoom out and understand. So I offered this to you simply to explore the space. I have found this to be a very beneficial way of understanding exactly what's happening and why everything is kind of in such a kind of strange place. Um, And that with all of these, like your news, for example, is your organized news is kind of deteriorating and you've all this kind of um, independent sort of stuff coming up. And it's the same with healthcare um, that people are, uh, stepping away from that and taking more kind of um, more of an assertive role in it where they are going to these more uh, alternative sources or even when they are going into the healthcare system they're being a bit more active in what they're asking for I think um, but uh, and even in education now we're all kind of going onto the internet and learning ourselves um, or at least there's a movement towards it um, so on a lot of different fronts, there is this new organization kind of coming around and it hasn't taken shape yet. I'm not saying that and I'm not saying I know exactly where this is going or what's going on. Hence why I'm doing the interviews, which I hope you enjoyed Thursday's interview. I hope that was good. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, Cormac was a great um, interviewee. So I'm not trying to say that I'm understanding any of it. I'm trying to say that I'm exploring it with you and curious and wondering and a bit awe and horror struck with just the state of the world at the moment. But this rubric, this matrix, or this kind of way of understanding has helped me quite a lot to say that in the old times, religion was on top and your labor, like as I think of a monk, the labor was just nothing. Everything was for the emotional state and was for spirituality ultimately, was for a connection with something higher. And then we flipped it. And we said, okay, now everything's market. Everything is what we can make. And the emotions, you want to come with a bit of zest, but like it's for the market that you, that your emotions are there for. Um, and spirituality, again, as long as it makes you productive, like that flip makes total sense. Um, and then how that is starting, how we're starting to realize that it doesn't actually make sense for us. And why the children of that era grew up assuming this new model of value in the world. They took the social value and mistook it for a personal way of valuing the world. So maybe so maybe we'll hold on to the old social structure, but we'll now have a personal structure that is the inverse of it. I, again, I don't know, but I found that rubric to be rich when, in my dark moments, when I'm wondering exactly what's going on. I'm going to leave that there. As always, I hope you've had a great week. I hope you're looking forward to the week to come. And I hope this tool helps you understand the world um, as it's helped me. So see you in the next one, guys. Bye.